Yet since we offer the Christ to go to us, but we must adopt us, strength by grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the air that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high in your habitation, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, like young lion and the serpent, you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will send him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to you, O God. <coughs> Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. <coughs> Blessed are they that search out his testimonies with their whole heart, shall they seek after him. <coughs> They that work no iniquity have walked in his ways. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding and I will learn thy commandments. They that fear thee shall see me and be glad, for on thy words I have set my hope. I have known, O Lord, that thy judgments are righteous. With the truth thou hast humbled me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Look upon me and have mercy on me according to the judgment of them that love thy name. <clears throat> Order my steps according to thy word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men and I will keep thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Establish them in paradise, where the cries of the saints and of the just, O Lord, shine like the stars of heaven. Give us the light to the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He that he let us praise the Full splendor of the one God it brought me now. Holy are the whole Father, who art for everlasting. O Son, co eternal and spirit divine, illumine us who serve thee with faith, and deliver us from fiery turmoil. Bring forth God in the flesh through the living embrace of salvation. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Furthermore, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Joanne, departed this life, and that she may be pardoned all of her sins, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God will establish her soul where the just repose. The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of her sins, let us entreat of Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. For thou art the resurrection and the life and the repose of thy servant, Joanna, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and thine all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Give rest with the just of our Savior, and his death, which is what was in his written, disregard. Both voluntary and involuntary, and all things of the night are in ignorance, O thou who lovest mankind, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the dreams of the
thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin, my brother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with this, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from my guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing a lot of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion and build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. the faithful whom thou hast translated from earth, do thou count worthy to receive eternal good things. Having adorned all things, thou did fashion me a living being consisting of humanity placed between loneliness and majesty. Therefore give rest unto the soul of thy servant, O Savior. In the beginning thou didst establish me as an inhabitant and husbandman of paradise, but having transgressed thy commandment thou didst cast me out. Therefore give rest unto the soul of thy servant, O Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who at first from a rib did fashion Eve, our first mother from thy womb, did clothe himself in flesh by which the power of death was destroyed, O pure one. There is none so holy as thou, O Lord my God, who has exalted the power of thy faithful oppression on, and has established us upon the rock of thy Thy martyrs, having suffered according to the law, O giver of life, and having been adorned by thee with crowns of victory, fervently mediate eternal redemption for the faithful one who has departed this life. At first, having instructed me, the prodigal, with many signs and wonders, finally, as thou art compassionate, thou thyself did empty thyself, and have found me whom thou didst seek, thou also hast saved me. Do thou, O good one, count her that is departed unto thee from the transitory streams of corruption, worthy to abide with joy in the eternal habitations, being justified by faith and grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
There is none that is undefiled save you, O most pure Mother of God. For you alone have conceived in your womb the true God, who is from everlasting, and who has broken the power of death. Thou hast gathered unto thyself the ranks of martyrs who imitated thy sufferings. Therefore we entreat thee, grant rest unto her that now has been taken unto thee. In the dread day when thou shalt come in thine ineffable glory upon the clouds to judge the whole world, be thou well pleased, O Redeemer, that thy faithful servant who has received thou hast received from the earth may meet thee with brightness. Bring us the Lord to the soul of thy servant, and to his home, let us see. Bring us the Lord to the soul of thy servant, and to his home, let us see. As thou art the fountain of life, O Master, who brings out to freedom thy servants who were bound, having struggled in a godly manner, do thou settle in the delights of paradise thy servant who has departed unto thee in faith, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having transgressed the divine commandment of God, we will return to the earth. But for thy sake, O Virgin, we have been lifted up from earth to heaven, having shaken off the corruption of death.
Hope fortified the ranks of martyrs and with strength carried them as on wings toward thy love. By this truly prefiguring the future unsakable repose of which do thou count worthy, O good one, the faithful one that has been taken. Be thou well pleased, O Christ, to apportion thy bright and divine radiance unto her that is departed in faith, as thou only art merciful, granting her rest in the bosom of Abraham, and counting her worthy of eternal blessedness. As thou art good and deeply compassionate by nature, who desires mercy and art an abyss of deep compassion, do thou establish where thy radiance shines, O Savior, her whom thou hast translated from this place of misery and the shadow of death. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We know thee, O pure one, as the holy tabernacle, the ark, and the tablet of law and grace. For forgiveness is granted for thy sake unto them that are justified by the blood of him that became incarnate from thy womb, O all undefiled one. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst for righteousness' sake, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. A citizen of paradise, O Christ, thou did make of the thief, who because of his repentance upon the cross cried unto thee, Remember me, make thou me a sinner, Worthy also of the same. <clears throat> Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. O thou who reigns over life and death in the courts of thy saints, grant unto her whom thou hast removed from these temporal things, and who cries unto thee, Remember me also, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. O thou who rules over souls and bodies, in whose hand is our breath, the consolation of the afflicted. In the land of the just, give rest unto thy servant, whom thou hast taken from us. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. May Christ give thee rest in the land of the living and open unto thee the gates of paradise and make me a citizen of his kingdom and give thee remission of those things wherein thou in life hast sinned, O thou who loves Christ. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Let us go forth and gaze into the tombs. Man is naked bones, food for the worms and stench. And we shall learn what are riches and comeliness and beauty and strength. <coughs> Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Let us hearken unto what the Almighty cries. Woe unto those who seek to behold the terrible day of the Lord. For lo, it is darkness, for all things shall be tried with fire. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Him who hath no beginning in birth of cause, the Father I worship, Him who is the only begotten Son I glorify, and unto the Holy Spirit who shines together with the Father and the Son, I sing praises. <clears throat> like now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. How dost thou press milk in abundance from thy breast, O virgin? How dost thou nourish the nourisher of creation? He knoweth it, who made the water to well forth from the rock. Streams of water for a people that were athirst, as it was written. Let us attend. Peace be unto all. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. to the other reader.
wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. A reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. And the Lord said to the Jews that came to him, Most assuredly I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Most assuredly I say to you, The hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he granted to the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Dearly beloved in the Lord, we come today to one of those days that presents to us that paradox of faith. A day where our hearts are sad, and our eyes are filled with tears, and we mourn the loss of the life of one who dwelt among us, who shared so many years in memory with us, and ultimately shared that embrace of faith. But in that spirit and understanding of what it is we believe, we also, in a real way this day, celebrate. We celebrate that this is not an end, that though earthly life ends and we suffer physical separation, Christ is risen and life streams forth to all who enter into the heavenly kingdom with him. So in this moment of deep sadness and sorrow and great joy, as it were, we have the opportunity to contemplate yet another life, a life of one who walked a journey with us, some of us for a long time in that 88 years that she dwelt in this life with us, some of us longer, some of us shorter, maybe some here today, and I'm sure there are some, if not here today, that only have met and experienced her presence recently. You know, very often in the world we we talk about someone's life and the zeal with which they live it, and we say, well, he was a man on a mission. Most certainly today, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I think Joanne would have me be able to say, today we remember the life of a woman who was on a mission. Um, it wasn't long ago, it seems, that we suffered the loss of Paul. Um, to many, what would have been a devastating blow. But to Joanne, though she missed him to the day that she now resides with him in the heavenly kingdom, 
she still preserved the spirit of what was their life together. Even though she had to move from her home in Akron um, and, uh, to a, a, a health care facility and then to a memory care facility, one thing remained constant with Joanne. She may not, in the recent months, remembered us when we walked in, but she remembered Jesus Christ. She remembered the gift that he gave her in her life. She remembered how dedicated she was to following him and sharing the message of his resurrection with others. In the community around us, we can find many people, whether they worked in a grocery store, whether they were doctors, whether they were um, strangers that she met on the street, whether they were those who came into the back door of the church, she greeted them all with the same love and hope and joy, with the same determination that was most certainly Joanne. But she brought them into the presence in her own way to Jesus Christ. She showed them that it was important to her to live a life that honored him. She showed them the great depth of his love by trying the best that she could to offer them that same love and hope. It was her mission together with her husband to continue to spread the gospel. She took great pride in the fact that the name Joanne was the name of a murderer. And I received many cards from her signed, Joanne, the myrrh underneath, seeking not to take the glory from her patron saint, but to show the honor of the name that she held and the mission that she was called to live by, by following the example of that patronal saint that was given to her. Though there will be moments for us to shed tears, there will be moments for us to smile. As I stand here today offering those final words as she enters into the heavenly kingdom, I can only imagine the face of one Father John Mason, who having come back to us after his long absence from us, kind of shocked Simeon uh, downstairs when Father John walked up to Joanne, and at that point in time, they both had walkers. And he looked at her and said, you want to race? <laughs> and then I think he realized what he said, because the look that she gave him and the response that came from her meant that if they were going to race, she was going to win. Those moments we can never forget. Those moments of, of that kind of dedication to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I think Joanne would tell us it's what we need now more than ever. I think it's sad that some of the greatest generation of our, of our church members reside in places away from church, unable to speak to us and to the communities around us of what it means to struggle, to sacrifice, to carry a cross, to serve the Lord, and to forget all the other stuff. Because really for Joanne, anything that was going on in the world that was troubling or, you know, she kind of laid it at God's feet and said, I have things to do. I don't have time for this. That example is something that together we should mourn as we remember her on this day. I think it's fitting to see her here dressed in white. You know, we buried Paul um, in the Paschal season during Bright Week and when the sun was shining and the day was glorious and we could. But even in the darkness of the night that we gather tonight, how she's dressed signifies the Paschal light that shines before us. It's kind of like we're getting ready to sing Christ is risen and rejoice that he has come. Maybe for Joanne and for us, it's Christ is born since it's so close to Christmas. It's also fitting that we celebrate her 
her, her singing away into the heavenly kingdom only the day after we celebrated the angels. Because hopefully it's a host of angels that greeted her together with our Lord and they ushered her into the heavenly kingdom to meet her husband and her beloved parents and grandparents and all of the relatives that have gone before her so that she may take her place at the choir stand in, in the, the heavenly choir above and be able to sing with full strength without, the, without age or illness or any of the other things that labored her in these days to sing that Paschal service that's eternal in the heavenly kingdom. Paula can share with you, it was only but maybe a week ago that I visited her and unbeknownst to visiting her, Patricia, in, in, the, in the nursing home. Um, and we did unction. Uh, if you ask um, Paula or Patricia to see the video that Patricia took, some of the words that I was saying came from Joanne's mouth before they came from mine, and she didn't have a book. Um, so we can say age and time and memory loss and all of those other things. The most important example she's given to us is she did not forget her faith. It was not taken from her. Uh, she remained whole uh, in the embrace of her Lord, um, I think, to the very last breath that she took. May that be the legacy that we honor as we now say goodbye in this earthly life. May it be the example that we're challenged to follow, all of us, uh, as we walk the path of life that's set before us. May God grant her rest in the heavenly kingdom, in the place that was prepared for her before the world was. And may he grant comfort to her children and her grandchildren, her sister, to all of us who mourn the loss of her memory. May her memory encourage us to find that same strength of faith and love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And together with her and the many righteous who have gone before us, give glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you have a book, um, we're going to skip the last kiss. We're going to go to page 97. We're going to finish the service, and then we'll do the last kiss as we venerate the cross. Christ, our King, immortal, 
and our God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death and overthrown the devil and given life unto thy world, do thou the same Lord give rest to the soul of thy newly departed handmaiden Joanne, in a place of brightness, a place of refreshment, a place of repose, where all sickness, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. Pardon every transgression which she hath committed, whether by word or deed or thought. For thou art a good God and loves mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus Christ, by his divine grace, as also by the gift and power vouchsafed unto his holy disciples and apostles, that they should bind and loose the sins of men. For he said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. And whatsoever ye shall bind or loose upon earth, shall be bound or loosed also in heaven. By that same power also transmitted unto us from them, this my spiritual child, Joanne, is absolved through me, unworthy though I be. From all things wherein as mortal she has sinned against God, whether in word or deed or thought or with all her senses, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether with knowledge or through ignorance, if she be under the ban or excommunication of a bishop or a priest, or has sinned by any oath or hath been bound as man by any sins whatsoever, but hath repented her thereof with contrition of heart. She is now absolved from all those faults and bonds. May all those things which have proceeded from the weakness of her mortal nature be consigned to oblivion and be remitted unto her through his loving kindness, through the prayers of our most holy and blessed and glorious lady, the mother of our Lord and ever Virgin Mary, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, and of all the saints. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wisdom most holy, Theotokos, save us. Our God and our sure hope, glory to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. Amen. Thank you, God's dominion over both the living and the dead, who arose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of His most true mother. All the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles of our holy and God-bearing fathers and of all the saints, establish the soul of thy handmaiden, Joanne, who is newly taken from us in the mansions of the righteous. Give her rest in Abraham's bosom and number her among the just and have mercy on us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Grant rest eternal and blessed repose, O oh Lord. To thy handmaiden Joanne, who has newly fallen asleep, and make her memory to be true.
May God be edifying, grant her rest, and be merciful unto us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. That concludes the funeral service this evening. On behalf of the family, I'd like to thank Father Drew for coming and celebrating today and being with us. Um, I know Joanne uh, would smile at your presence uh, and uh, offer, hopefully will offer prayers for you and all of us uh, that participate today. Um, we would invite you now to come and uh, pay your final respects this evening. Um, inviting those of you um, from this side and then from the back to come first, leaving the immediate family to last. Um, I kind of, the, Mr. Anthony will kind of guide you uh, around um, to venerate the cross and to pay your respects. Um, God bless you, and uh, please continue to pray for Joanne and, and for her family. Um, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to